Hello friends, in this video I am going to tell you about the winged bean botany, its uh, economic importance, breeding aspects and other things. The scientific name of winged bean is Sorocarpus tetragonalobus. Common name is winged bean, botanical name is Sorocarpus tetragonalobus, belongs to family Leguminaceae or Fabaceae, chromosome number is in diploid form 18. Other names of this bean is goa bean, asparagus pea, four angled bean and winged bean or winged pea. Center of origin is Madagascar or Mauritius. It's a tropical plant, short day plant, edible vegetable or legume. Almost every part of this unique plant is tasty and edible. Typically grows as an annual or perennial vine ultimate multipurpose crop the taxonomy is belongs to kingdom plantae order fabel family fabaceae subfamily faboidae tribe fasciolae genus sorocarpus and species tetragonalobus winged bean is a tropical legume found growing abundantly in hot humid equatorial countries it is also called as wonder legume as it has the high protein content in the seeds and therefore considered as a versatile legume. It can be grown as a grain legume, green vegetable, tuber crop or a forage and cover crop. Seeds of winged bean contain some pharmaceutically active anti-nutrients like trypsin and chymotrypsin inhibitors, hemoglutinins and amylase inhibitors. Every part of winged bean is edible. The leaves, flowers, roots, bean pods can be eaten raw or cooked. The pods are edible even when raw and unripe. The seeds are edible after cooking. Each of these parts contain vitamin A, C, calcium, iron among other nutrients. <coughs> the tender pods which are the most widely eaten part of the plant are best when eaten before the egg seed 2.5 cm or 1 inch in length. It is ready for harvest within 3 months of planting. The flowers are used to color rice and pastry. The young leaves can be picked and prepared as a leaf vegetable like spinach. The nutrient rich tuberous roots have a nuffy flower. It contains about 20% protein. Roots have more protein than many other rooty vegetables. The leaves and flowers are also high in protein, 10 to 15 percent. Seeds are about 35 percent protein and 18 percent fat. They require cooking for two to three hours or to destroy the trypsin inhibitor and hemagglutinins that inhibit digestion. It can be eaten dried or roasted. Dried and ground seeds make a useful flour and can be brewed to make a coffee-like drink. Edible uses in coffee, coloring and oil, other uses like green manure, soil reclamation and cover crop. Major growing areas, Philippines, Burma, Thailand, India, Indonesia and Sri Lanka. Popular countries are Mediterranean countries, Tropical Asia, Southeast and Asian countries. The plant description, height of the plant, vines vary between 3 to 4 meters, bean pod, pods are fry, fryly border and 6 to 9 inches in length, have 4 rows of wing type features. Coming to the seed shape and seed aspects, seeds burst up from a ripe pod, become brownish at the time of ripening, beans are round in shape, emits an aroma which is similar to asparagus. Flowers are light blue colored hermaphrodite. The recommended varieties are uh, SLS44 and uh, not yet released officially or uh, released for some parts are UPS122, SLS40 and UPS31. National average yield is 10 tons per hectare. 
composition of winged bean the water content i'll take the seeds only because it is most preferred one 9 uh, uh, ml of water per 100 gram then calories 420 uh, mg and protein 31.8 fat 17 uh, carbohydrates 33 grams fiber 6.6 .6, calcium 210 mg phosphorus 410 mg and iron 15 mg that means seeds have more nutrient composition than the other parts soil and climatic requirement the ideal growing temperature is 25 degrees celsius optimum uh, rainfall is 150 to 200 centimeter elevation around 2000 meter soil types are sandy to heavy clay well drained so sandy loam rich in organic matter is preferred management practices like land preparation sowing care harvest weed control irrigation and sterilizers coming to land preparation soil flow to a depth of 30 to 40 centimeter and work to a very fine tilt the purpose of land preparation is to provide necessary soil conditions which enhance the plant and root growth sowing pre-soak the seeds for one or one to two days just like rice then change the water a couple of time if some seeds don't swell nick them with a knife or sandpaper them at the distal end to uh, breach the tough seed coat and soak for another day the length at least 3.9 inches depth is around 0.78 inch that is 2 centimeter grow the beans on a trellis oriented north or south direction for best sun exposure that means this crop is sunshine demanding the care pinch out the top of the main vein um, just like chickpea when it has produced 10 to 12 leaves to encourage side shoots keep the bean well watered add a side dressing of one cup of high nitrogen fertilizer per 10 square feet for higher yield harvesting pick the shoots and uh, leaves while they are still tender harvest the large pale blue flowers for salad green pods can be harvested from about 10 weeks after sowing weed control it is necessary uh, at least in the first three to four five weeks irrigation grows best under hot wet condition of 60 to 100 inch of rainfall or irrigation per year Chalices, it is supporting the vines essential for high seed production and the height should be two meter that is sufficient and optimum height coming to the post harvest management to keep them fresh can store them in a plastic bag with mm, net tightly tied and with some holes place it in the refrigerator for best results temperature 10 degrees celsius with relative humidity 90 percent and it can be kept for around four weeks pest and diseases of winged bean it is free from major pest and diseases in sri lanka and other countries but uh, the prevalent diseases are false rust leaf spot mosaic virus witches broom the pests are mites aphids leaf miner flower borer pod borer that is helianthes root knot nematode and pod borer that is muruka the pros or uh, advantages are it is a tasty mild flavored grains ultimate multi-purpose crop for small farmers and gardens in the tropics leaves are high in superior quality protein strong nitrogen fixing legume with unusual number of nodules it is tolerant to heat tolerant to acid soil apparently can be utilized inexpensive readily available cowpea inoculant to begin nodulation when introduced to new areas the disadvantage or cons are very susceptible to water logging 
susceptible to frost and cold weather seeds are difficult to germinate most varieties have photoperiod sensitivity that limit the plant's success in many locations winged bean needs good drainage lot of water like around 150 cm for good growth and 250 cm or more for top production the wings or fresh winged beans are very delicate makes them more difficult to handle and to ship than other fresh bean variety so uh, comparing to other legume crops winged bean is still an underutilized crop and very less known to majority of the parts of india so this has to be popularized thank you hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks once again